Hey, what's up beautiful people of the world? Welcome back to another video. My name is Josh and today you are watching from Chiang Mai, Thailand. It's a special day today. You ask yourself, why is it a special day, Josh? Why? Because you're watching my video. No, I'm just kidding, but it is special you're watching my video to me. But today is the day that I am getting uh, a tattoo, a Sakyant tattoo. I've been wanting to get one for the past couple of months since I first came to Thailand. And today I'm finally making that happen. So I uh, elected to get one with a Buddhist monk in the temple and we are off to get that done at Sakyan Chiang Mai. So I'm going to document that for y'all. I know a lot of people are interested and yeah, man, thanks for watching. Let's go. So I'm on the back of this scooter as we take grabs everywhere here in Asia. Um, I haven't rented a bike yet in Chiang Mai. I will be doing that later today. Chiang Mai is such a beautiful city. It's my favorite place in all of Thailand. I love the mountains. I love the food. I love the people, I love the culture, like it's just a different vibe here uh, than Phuket and Bangkok and some of the islands down south, just totally different. And uh, I've spent probably about a month and a half here total bouncing in and out and I just, I could live here easily. I see why expats retire here. Um, it's just such a great place and like there's a sense of community here It's big enough to where it feels like a city, but it's small enough to where it's not overwhelming and uh, Yeah, I can see why people come here at 55 and get their retirement visa. So I'm on the back We're about I don't know two minutes away from Sakyan Chiang Mai and let's go All right, folks, I'm standing outside of Sakyan, Chiang Mai. Uh, it's supposed to be the best and cheapest place to get a Sakyan tattoo in all of Thailand. I know you can get them in a lot of places in Thailand, um, but I read that like Bangkok can be crazy expensive because Angelina Jolie and a lot of celebrities have gotten them there. So they're like three or four times more as expensive down in Bangkok. So let's go. <laughs> okay, so this is the inside of Sakyan, Chiang Mai. So basically you come in and you talk to the staff here. They have a whole book of designs and you can choose your design. They tell you the meaning. And then, like I said, when you go see the monk, you talk to the monk about the design that you want and why. And, um, you know, they will craft that to the purpose of your Sakyan tattoo. So they were extremely helpful here. And uh, they, they drove me to the temple, stayed with me and translated and bring you back here. And then, uh, yeah, you spend time at the temple and like I said, they, they translate everything for you and talk to the monk, ask the monk questions, take pictures with the monk afterwards. And um, yeah, and, th and that's, that's the experience. So I can't recommend them enough. And if you're considering getting a tattoo, come here. The design book, so they have this. And then you can just start by uh, seeing which one you want. They have so many beautiful ones. They all have different meanings. Get them in different places on your um, body and everything as well. So the book is just, it's huge. So they have a ton of them. Okay, so they do in-house tattoos here too. They haven't done them for two years apparently. Yeah. But this is the room. Ajahn room, room two. Ajahn room. And how much is it to do these in here? Uh, she starts 2,000 baht for one hour. Okay, 2,000 baht, one hour. Very nice. When will they be opening again? This month, 13th. 13th, okay. Okay, so it will be open in two weeks then. Yeah. Okay. All right, everyone, so I'm on my way to the temple. Um, I'm being driven here from Chiang Mai. I have my design here, um, and I have my offering for the monk which is this. Uh, all right, everyone. So before you get into watching this video, I just want you to know that the monk was asked if it was okay to record, if it was okay to take photos with him, if it was okay to post it, everything was asked. I made sure that he would not be offended 
or anything like that in any sort of way by there being a camera in the room while it was being filmed. He was okay with it. He actually said he was going to follow me on YouTube, which I think is pretty cool. But I just want to address that before we get into the tattoo and everything, that everything was approved by him. You know, there was a certain way to greet him and there was a certain way to thank him and to place the offering in the in the plate and which way your feet are positioned. They can't be pointing towards Buddha or him. You can't be standing above the monk. At any point in time, I had to take a break during the tattoo just due to the fact that my legs were falling asleep. I'm just not used to sitting in the, in the position that monks sit in. So I just want y'all to know that everything was pre-approved by him before I started recording. And um, it was an amazing experience, so. All right, what's up everybody? So they just drove me out here to the temple. Um, I discussed with the monk who has translated um, my attention to the tattoo and what each individual line is going to mean. Um, he is changing the design based on what I told him. And uh, I ended up, I'm gonna do it right here on my right arm. Most people get it on their back, uh, which is tradition with, with this particular tattoo. So this is like a, a traditional steel needle, correct? Yes. This is a steel needle, so um, I would say that the pain is uh, equivalent, equivalent to getting it done with the gun. So what I found with my last tattoo was the shading needle. The shading needle is what really hurt. The outline needle hurt too. Um, I don't know anybody who thinks tattoos feel good necessarily, um, but yeah, this one just is like more poking. It's just poking because it's constantly poking on my arm. And so this is what it looks like basically. As the tattoo has progressed, I can definitely say, um, I think the other, the other style, like traditional gun hurts more. Uh, I think this is really cool to watch him do this because I've never, I don't know, he's just doing it so flawlessly with the design, like perfectly. Um, and then he's like making the design as I, as he goes, because I asked him to alter the, uh, the language, you know, based on, on the meaning of my Sakyan. And so, um, I don't know, maybe my arm has just kind of gone a little bit numb since he started, but, um, it's really cool to watch him do this. Um, and like I said, the other tattoo, I, I feel like hurt more. This one is definitely more interesting, and like I think the ink is more bold than coming out of a traditional tattoo gun. Um, very cool to watch, very cool to feel. I don't think it's overwhelming by any means. Obviously, everybody has different pain tolerance, but nah, I think this is, this is very easily doable, and I don't think it would hurt nearly as much on my back. I could be wrong, um, but I think the arm is, is more sensitive. นิวาระวัจจะนังสัตตะโมมีสุนันโตธรรมสวนากาโรอัยยัมปทันตาธรรมสวนากาโรอัยยัมปทันตาธรรมสวนากาโรอัยยัมปทันตาสมันตาสั
and I came in, we discussed uh, my intention of the sock yet, uh, what I wanted the meeting to be, and um, I had a translator there uh, that came along with me and translated everything. And then I did the offering, which they give you at Sakyan Chiang Mai to give to the monk. And uh, he basically did the outline and then changed the writing to um, match what my intention was. And then at the end of the, t uh, the session, uh, I had the opportunity to ask him questions. He blessed the tattoo um, and then uh, blessed me with a few other things. And we took some photos together. And now I am back heading to Chiang Mai. And yeah, you can see the tattoo is amazing. So um, it was really cool to have it done by hand. I have my other tattoo done uh, with a tattoo gun, but to have it done by hand, different experience. And um, yeah, so I'm excited to see how it heals up over the next two weeks. If you are considering getting a Sakyan tattoo, go to Sakyan Chiang Mai in Chiang Mai and uh, they will provide you with the best service that you can possibly have. Also, is this not the coolest tattoo you've ever seen? Look at that, look at how beautiful it is. Just the design, everything. And I think it's so cool that they're custom. They're custom and uh, personalized to each individual. So like I said, come down to Chisakya and Chiang Mai and get you one if that's something that you're interested in doing. And I'm happy to post this video. Like, comment, subscribe, I'm out, yo.